And so these are two very distinct and powerful drugs that can boost motivation, mood, and productivity. But which one is safer? And is Mother Nature always considered to be better than Big Pharma? Well, in this video, what I'm going to do is take a look at the differences and we'll do a head-to-head -head comparison between Adderall and Macuna Prurians. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So what I wanted to do in this video was do a head-to-head -head comparison between Adderall which is a commonly abused ADHD medication versus the herbal supplement called Mercuna Prurians, which is also a very powerful way to raise dopamine levels in the brain. So first of all, what is Adderall? Well, Adderall is a prescription medication commonly used to treat attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or ADHD. Now, it contains two active ingredients amphetamine and dextroamphetamine. Now, these are stimulant medications that affect certain neurotransmitters in the brain. Now, neurotransmitters are chemicals that transmit signals between nerve cells or neurons in the brain. And key neurotransmitters involved in ADHD include dopamine and norepinephrine. Now, dopamine is associated with motivation, reward, and attention, whilst norepinephrine plays a role in arousal and alertness. Now, interestingly, Adderall works by increasing the levels of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. And it does this by promoting the release of these neurotransmitters from nerve endings and by blocking their reuptake, meaning they stay in the synaptic cleft, the gap between neurons for a longer period of time. Now, this leads to increased neurotransmitter activity in certain brain regions associated with attention and impulse control. So as we can see here, Adderall does appear to massively increase two key neurotransmitters, namely dopamine and norepinephrine. And so now let's compare uh, what that is like compared to Macuna Purians. Now, Makuna prurians, which you've probably seen in a range of Ayurvedic or Indian formulas for brain health and testosterone production, is also known as velvet bean. And it's actually a legume that is used as food in some parts of Southeast Asia and has been used in Yunani and Ayurvedic traditional medicine. Now, Makuna prurian seeds contain flavonoids, saponins, lectins, and alkaloids. Now, the beans are one of the best sources of the amino acid L34-dihydroxyphenylalanine or L-DOPA. Now, fava beans and green beans are other food sources of L-DOPA. And because L-DOPA is the direct precursor of the neurotransmitter dopamine, Macuna prurians has been used as a nootropic for brain support. Now, dopamine is one of the neurotransmitters in the brain, which as I mentioned before, participates in several important brain functions, most notably reward, motivation, pleasure, focus, cognitive flexibility, emotional resilience, and motor control. Now, healthy uh, functioning of dopamine signaling is fundamental for healthy cognitive function and emotional drive. So how do we compare whether or not Macuna prurians is better or more effective at boosting dopamine than Adderall? Well, what I want to outline here is that number one, both of these um, interventions are not sustainable. Now, that is because the withdrawal effects or following the cessation or when you stop using these particular interventions, there is a massive withdrawal. Um, and so many people online who have either used Adderall and then they stop abruptly, notice extreme withdrawal and dependence. And so even after one dose of Adderall, that can lead to feeling dysphoric and um, lacking energy the following day. And the same can occur with Macuna prurians. If you use Macuna prurians consecutively and then stop abruptly, you will notice a massive withdrawal and you'll feel very, very flat. Now, the dosage does matter. Obviously, dosage matters with all supplements and drugs. Um, but that's especially noticeable with Macuna prurians. If you do want to use Macuna, 
there is a particular extraction that is relatively safe that can still give you a good kick in dopamine um, without ma- major withdrawal. And then neurotoxicity can be an issue if you don't have good antioxidant defenses. Um, so if you are a virgin to these two brain enhancers, you will definitely feel them. Like if you've ever used Macuna or Adderall, please leave a comment down below this video. Share your experience with either of these nootropics. So here are the dangers of Adderall. Number one, as I mentioned, addiction and dependence. Adderall contains amphetamine and dextroamphetamine, which can definitely be habit-forming. Misuse or overuse can lead to physical and psychological dependence. Looking at the cardiovascular, looking at the cardiovascular effects, stimulants like those in Adderall can actually increase heart rate and blood pressure. And individuals with pre-existing cardiovascular conditions may be at an increased risk of adverse effects. Now, the psychiatric side effects include that Adderall can exacerbate existing psychiatric conditions or trigger new ones, including anxiety, agitation, and psychosis. Now, suicidal thoughts have been reported in some cases, especially in individuals with a history of mental health issues. Now, looking at the insomnia and sleep issues, a number of people that I've worked with who have either used Adderall or who have stopped taking Adderall report that it can definitely worsen sleep. And so it can disrupt sleeping patterns leading to insomnia and also poor quality sleep leading to ironically worse mental health the following day. Now, there's also the appetite suppression and weight loss since Adderall can lead to major appetite suppression um, this can be concerning who, for those individuals who you know, are, are currently underweight. Um, now, let's transition over to Macuna purians or the herbal extract that is a powerful way to boost dopamine. The dangerous thing about Macuna purians is this major fact. Macuna, as I said before, is rich in L-dopa. L-dopa, as you can see in this pathway here, the beginning substrate for dopamine synthesis is L-phenylalanine, the amino acid. Phenylalanine then gets converted into tyrosine. Then from tyrosine, it gets converted into L-dopa. Then from L-dopa, it gets converted into dopamine. You can see the different enzymes that are responsible for that. Phenylalanine hydroxylase, tyrosine hydroxylase, and then amino acid decarboxylase. If we are taking Macuna prunes, we are bypassing the steps of number one and number two. By taking L-DOPA, this can actually downregulate the body's own production of dopamine because we're bypassing L-phenylalanine and tyrosine metabolism. So this is where Macuna can be dangerous. And so this Reddit report is interesting to analyze. This person said, Anecdote and warning, Macuna Prurians. I've taken this supplement for three days now, one serving per day. First day, I could actually feel the dopamine increase. I was enjoying and getting stuck into my work without wanting to take a break. Thought I'd, en- thought I'd enjoy this for a few more days. Second day was absolutely fine. On the third day, in the morning, I was a bit more anxious than usual. And by midday, I had a full-on panic attack that I managed to pull myself out of quick enough. I haven't had a panic attack like this for decades. After reading a bit more about it today, I could pretty confidently attribute the panic attack to the L-DOPA Macunapurian supplementation. Just thought I'd contribute to the warnings already out there. This stuff is stronger than one might guess. This next Reddit user said, Macuna withdrawal, how long, how to combat it? Hello, new to this sub. So I started taking Macuna, 1000 milligrams, 20% L-DOPA daily for a few months. And now when I stop, it gets dark, like really dark. Sometimes it it feels like I can't move. I want to get off it and get make to normal dopamine regulation. Any advice here really hurting here. Um, So this is where the amino acids L-tyrosine, and dopamine D2 upregulation pathway is really important to counteract the withdrawal. 
if you're taking macuna extract that is only 15% L-DOPA, I don't think this can cause many issues if you're taking it only once or twice per week. But if you're using a higher percentage extraction, this can cause major issues. And so what I want to mention now about Adderall is that this can cause neurotoxicity of a single dosage if the dosage is not well calculated and if not combined with strong neuroactive antioxidants. Now, bear in mind that it can even be extremely dangerous if you microdose an amphetamine as you could end up with permanently different dopamine receptor signaling. So what happens if you microdose Adderall? Interestingly, there is a human response to repeated low-dose D-amphetamine. And so in this next study here, we're looking at the long-lasting effects of escalating doses of D-amphetamine on brain monoamines, amphetamine-induced stereotyped behavior, and spontaneous nocturnal locomotion. So the microdosing, so the microdosing of amphetamine can actually elicit some pretty powerful effects. So this user said, some of the positives are increased willingness to do things, increased sociability, a lucid and more rapid thought process, feeling that I have more time to do things and don't feel caffeine hungover anymore. The negatives are insomnia and disturbed sleep, thirst and increased water intake, involuntary muscle twitches and sometimes irrationality. So this next user said, suffering from persistent dopamine sensitization, did anyone have it? Now, the problem is I have what I believe to be dopamine sensitization from taking very low doses of Ritalin intermittently in October 2014. I've used Ritalin on and off since and currently am 106 days off it completely in an attempt to let my dopamine system normalize. However, I still do suffer from long-term consequences on a daily basis. So this is crazy. This individual used Ritalin or methylphenidate, you know, a number of times, but, you know, many, many days ago. In fact, this was 106 days ago and he's still reporting negative effects. So the current symptoms are occasional motor tics, lowered sleep quality, extreme tiredness, increased sensitivity to rewards. I feel a sense of actual physical euphoria like on a low dose of stimulants after a good meal. The euphoria after meals is sometimes so strong, I have some difficulty breathing. During a video video game, I feel an adrenaline rush as if massive amounts of energy are flowing in my muscles. He also noticed uh, or noted uncontrollable teeth grinding Um, So that's pretty crazy. So this is where low dose or should I say a microdose of an amphetamine such as Adderall can be extremely dangerous. And what I mean by a microdose, I mean one eighth to one twelfth of the recommended dosage. So that is, you know, literally having the tiniest dose of Adderall that can actually lead to permanent changes in your dopamine system. So overall, if I were to compare Macuna versus Adderall, I do think there's a time and place for both under you know, medical supervision. But what I want to emphasize is if you're using Macuna Prurians, that only a 15% L-DOPA is safe to use. That's a standardized extraction and only using it once or twice a week, perhaps on the weekends um, when you're going out to, to a party or for sexual performance, or you want the testosterone boost. So that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy the video, please like the video. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next series.